And Prince Philip was the longest serving consort in British history. Now Great Britain prepares for his funeral. People have been leaving flowers outside the gates of Windsor Castle in tribute. CBS 2's Ian Lee has more from Windsor. Well, this really is a nation in mourning. People are already making their way to Windsor Castle to pay their respects to a man who loomed large in their lives for over seven decades. But because of COVID restrictions, he's not going to lie in state. There won't be any state funeral. What we're expecting is a small private ceremony at the St. George Chapel here in Windsor, the same chapel Prince Harry and Meghan were married. And we're also hearing that Prince Harry will return for the funeral, which we believe will be at the end of next week. In Windsor, England, Ian Lee, CBS 2 News. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle are paying tribute to Prince Philip. They posted a message on the website of their charitable organization, Archwell. It reads, in loving memory of His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh, 1921 to 2021, thank you for your service. You will be greatly missed. President Biden offered his condolences to Queen Elizabeth today. The president wrote on Twitter, Prince Philip's legacy will live on not only through his family, but in all the charitable endeavors he shaped. Jill and I are keeping the queen and the prince's children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, the people of the United Kingdom in our hearts during this time. And we have even more about Prince Philip's life on our website. There you'll find pictures of the royal family and his wedding with Queen Elizabeth. It's all on CBSNewYork.com.